Today is World Ijab Day. A coalition of Muslim organizations have called for equal rights between the hijab wearing female Muslim folks and non Muslim folks in the country. The group, during a press conference to commemorate the World Hijab Day 2023, advocated the upholding of the Muslim girl's right to use the hijab without oppression, segregation, and dehumanization. Our correspondent brings you details as presented from our studios. World Hijab Day is observed every year on February 4th to honor Muslim women who wear the hijab. All children of Adam, we have provided for you clothing to cover your nakedness and as an adornment. However, the best of clothing is righteousness. This is one of Allah's bounties, so perhaps you'll be mindful. It is also a day to urge women of various origins and beliefs to try on the hijab and see what it is like to wear it. Coalition of 17 Muslims organization came together to tell the world that the right of female Muslims should be recognized and respected as living beings and not discriminated against. Muslim bodies asked for recognition of the right of the Muslim girl and woman to use the hijab without any form of intimidation. The coordinator of hijab right advocacy, Mutiat Orolo Balogun, who led the coalition called for a collective effort to progress hijab wearing and not to oppress their choice of using the hijab. Allah says once more, O Prophet, ask your wives, daughters, and believing women to draw their cloak over their entire bodies. In this way, it is more likely that they will recognize as virtuous and not be harassed. And Allah is all forgiving and most merciful. Thus, the hijab for us Muslim women is a fulfillment of the divine commandment, which is further guaranteed by Section 38 of the 1999 Constitution. Other speakers also called on movers and shakers of the world to live by their sayings and preaching of peaceful coexistence, a significant part of the SDGs. However, don't start talking about making us cry on new powers to themselves and deny our children from wearing the hijab to register. Hence, all meeting exams and certificates will be without hijab which will cause psychological trauma to death and consequently affecting their performance at the exam. We call on all exam bodies to do well in protecting the accuracy and integrity of their registration process and ensure that no laws are broken by their agents. The group also condemned the raping of girls in Nikob in Ibadan, or your state, and called for the arrest and urgent prosecution of perpetrators of the Inos crime, Idris, also known as Kesari, and his father. They, however, expressed sadness that Muslim women, who are known to be modest, have become targets of criminal elements. Indeed, the Kitabi is almost becoming a dangerous species. And she is being discriminated against by the fellow citizens, and she's also not safe from the attack of the criminal. You don't judge a book by the cover, you have to open the book. So we women, Muslim women are full of opportunities, and these opportunities can be plugged and they can be garnered everywhere. Wherever we are, we must be that shining example such that we're able to teach the world. Uh, morals that is expected of us that we exhibit. It's not just covering overhead, but, but exhibiting of all beautiful characters. If they are performing with their hijab, they should try and leave them. But if worst comes to worst, at least allow them to use a scarf or turban. You should look at Islam and not look at the behavior of Muslims. We expect that Muslims should portray the true Islam, but the truth is that we do not have control over what every Muslim represent so we're singing a new song and we're telling people that we're not oppressed but of course we're a people of progression the theme for this year's celebration is progression not oppression